The purpose of this project was to determine the sweet spot of a baseball bat. This is where, during contact, the force from the ball on the bat is a minimum and where, after contact, the exit velocity of the baseball is a maximum. For the scope of this project, the bat was modeled as a 10-link system with linear and torsional springs connecting the links together. Let's take a look at how this system works. To swing the bat at a constant angular velocity, a moment was applied to the first member of the bat. The rest of the members follow the first. As the ball approaches the bat, we can see that the ball compresses and then leaves the bat at a greater velocity than the bat itself. This whole process takes place in less than two hundredths of a second. Let's consider the impact on the eighth link. To analyze the impact, the velocity of the ball was plotted along with the moment acting on the bat. For the moment, we only need to consider the time of impact. As we can see from the plot of the moment when the ball makes contact with the eighth link, there's a fairly significant moment occurring at this impact position. Let's compare this to when the ball impacts the tenth link. We can see that there is clearly a much smaller moment due to the impact on the tenth link of the system. As expected, the exit velocity of the baseball is also faster after making contact with the 10th link. The higher exit velocity, coupled with the smaller moment, makes the middle of the 10th link the sweet spot of this particular bat model.